So my browser of choice for the last couple of years has been the Brave browser because the Brave, it's still free and open source software. It comes with nice features as far as privacy and security. It comes with built-in ad block and it's kind of minimal in its UI design. I, I quite like Brave, but I understand why a lot of people, even though Brave is free and open source software, a lot of people avoid the Chromium based browsers because it still has that Google stench to it, right? Because Google creates the Chrome engine. So any browser whether it's free and open source software or not you know still you're kind of buying into the google web monopoly so a lot of people just on that principle alone stick with using mozilla firefox but mozilla firefox has been hemorrhaging users because the company and the foundation behind it they just do weird things they're not really that interested in actually making software anymore they're more worried about uh, political you know, social activism and things and their browser it's just kind of bad as far as some of the defaults it's just not it's just not a good product now, if we're just talking strictly on the technology itself Firefox has kind of lagged behind many browsers in recent years. So, you know, I've been looking though for good Firefox based browsers. Maybe somebody can take the Firefox engine and, you know, and fork it, you know, create a Firefox based browser and actually do something interesting. And there's a few Firefox based browsers out there, but you know, nothing that really made me go, you know what? This is my browser. I'm going to switch to it until the last couple of days. I came across this browser. It's rather new. It's in beta. This is the Zen browser. And I've got to say, I have been extremely impressed with this browser. So first of all, the Zen browser, as I mentioned, is based on Firefox. It is cross-platform. If you click on the download button here on their homepage, you can see it is available for Windows, Linux, Mac OS. Now, of course, I'm on Linux. Most of you guys watching my content are probably running Linux. You can choose the Zen browser for x86-64 architecture, and you have a variety of ways to grab this. You can download the tarball. You can download a, an official app image. You can download an official flat pack uh, you can also if you're on an arch linux based distribution like i am it is available in the aur there is a binary build and the chaotic aur also contains a binary build of the zen browser that's actually how i installed it i installed it using the chaotic aur and when you launch the zen browser for the very first time uh, you're going to be welcomed with a welcome screen kind of similar theme to how their website here is you'll get a little welcome message and it'll ask you a couple of questions. First, they'll want to know uh, what kind of layout do you want the browser? I chose this layout where I have the sidebar here with my tabs and the URL bar here at the top, but they have a different layout where you would have the tab bar here on the side and the URL bar also on the side. So it's a single sidebar and it would look uh, something like this. It would be expanded out with the tabs and instead of having the URL bar here, you'd have a small little URL bar here. I'll actually show you that later. It'll also ask you about an accent color for the browser, and then it'll finally ask you, hey, do you want to import bookmarks from one of your existing browsers? So it detected that I was using the Brave browser, and it wanted to know, do I want to import all of my Brave bookmarks into Zen? And I chose yes, and it did that import beautifully. You know, it imported all of my bookmarks. Now, one of the things I immediately liked when I started using the Zen browser was the minimal interface. You know, we have the tabs, which you know, are kind of necessary to see. You have your back and forth and reload button, the home button. Then you have the URL bar and not much else here in the top panel. I kind of like that many browsers, especially many browsers from years past, five years ago, 10 years ago, they were trying to fit as much stuff into the UI as possible and I just thought it was cluttered and it was filled with a lot of things I would never use I just need the URL bar <laughs> that's essentially what I need in the browser and I don't necessarily have to see the URL bar all the time I wouldn't mind that thing just being hidden and, and only coming out when I type and the Zen browser does allow you to do that they have what is known as a compact mode if I right click inside the tab bar here and I go to compact mode and enable compact mode is turned off but if I enable it, I can choose to hide the sidebar, hide the toolbar, or hide both. I'm going to have hide both ticked on and enable compact mode, and boom, 
everything goes away. It is just a frame with the web page. Now the URL bar is there. If I mouse up to the top of the screen, it pops out. And if I move my mouse back down, it goes away. If I do a control T, I can actually bring up the URL bar here and start typing something. You know, I can navigate to a URL or I can just escape out of that, move my mouse back away here. If I had multiple tabs open and I wanted to see the tab bar, all I need to do is move my mouse back over to this side of the screen. Now for me, I would probably want to see my tabs all the time and maybe my toolbar all the time. So I'm gonna turn it off, but I can understand and some people may want to turn off one of the bars or both. So if you want to do that, just enable that compact mode. Now these days, vertical tabs are kind of the new thing with a lot of web browsers. Everybody's moving to having your tabs vertical along the side rather than like a top panel. Uh, and I kind of like the vertical tabs as well. Let's do a new tab. I'm going to right click here and I'm going to select new tab below. Now this is the Zen browser homepage. Now this homepage, by the way, is actually very customizable. Typically I go and install extensions for a nice homepage. One of my favorite extensions for both Firefox based browsers and Chrome based browsers is a, an extension called tab bliss. I actually have done videos about tab bliss in the past, but I don't think I need to install that in the Zen browser because their little homepage here has everything that I really want. Now this is what it looks like out of the box. You've got, you know, the Zen logo. You've got a Google search bar here. You've got weather that is very accurate. It knows exactly where you are with geolocation. Now I changed my location to Chicago, but you guys know I'm actually in Louisiana, but I changed it because you didn't need to know exactly where I was at, but you can actually turn the weather off if you don't want that. Some other things you can do, you can go into the little settings over here and you can choose shortcuts so sites that i've visited here recently you know will show up if you wanted to turn on recommended stories of course that would be like your uh, pocket news stories i don't really use that so i probably wouldn't use that but uh recent activities is also available let's turn off the recommended stories and the shortcuts um and this will be you know sites i've visited recently for me i probably would just leave the shortcuts and the recent activity and maybe the weather now as a content creator i may turn off the weather just because of the geolocation stuff but you guys that are not recording your browser often probably want the weather one really neat feature you can do is Zen Browser has the ability to actually split tabs into a split view, kind of like a tiling window manager kind of view. For example, I've got two tabs over here. If I hit the control key and select both tabs and then right click on it and go down to split two tabs. The two tabs I have open are now in this split view and I can change whether it's split vertically like they are now or horizontally. And if I go over to the URL bar, you can see I've got this icon that is the icon is the vertical split, right? It's this split. But if I wanted to change it, I could change it to the horizontal split. Or if I wanted to, I could do the unsplit and I'm back to having these as two separate tabs. Now, because the UI is the most interesting aspect of the Zen browser, right? That's really how it differentiates itself. Let's actually change from the layout I have here to something different. So if I go into uh, open settings and I go into look and feel, these are your three uh, browser layouts. And again, when you launch this for the very first time, Zen browser will ask you which one you want to choose, but any selections you make, you can always change them later if you want. So right now I'm using the multiple toolbars. So the side tab bar and then the top URL bar. But if I wanted the single toolbar, I could click on that. And now I just have the single toolbar here, right? So this is the URL bar It's now the very tiny little URL bar, but it expands when I you know, need to see more stuff in it. And then I have my tabs, which are also expanded because now you get not only the icon, but you also get the page title as well. You can also play with the theme and the uh, color. So if I go back into look and feel, we have night theme, default dark theme and colorful theme. So this is the default theme, the dark theme. But if you wanted an even darker theme, you could choose 
the night theme and you can see it gets very black or you could choose the colorful theme which is going to be based on whatever accent color that you choose and you can pick a color i think the default dark theme is actually very sexy so that's the one i've been rocking but you can really get creative with some of the colors here if i right click and go to change color themes and you get this little uh, grid here and just pick some colors i'll pick that blue and that pink uh, maybe something up here in green and i can play with the contrast and the texture and you know you can get some some really cool little gradients going on here i don't know if you guys will be able to tell on the video but the texture adds a little bit of noise to the background so that's kind of cool for me i'd probably turn that off and yeah, really neat stuff for me. I actually, again, I kind of, I'm a minimal kind of person. I like the default dark theme without any of the accent colors. So I, I'm going to turn this off. How you turn this off is the colors you've selected, right click on them and they go away and I'm back to my default theme. I'm also going to go back to my multiple toolbar layout because I like that. Now it still kept the tabs expanded, but I can... Uh, collapse those back alt b on the keyboard you know toggles that uh, sidebar uh, on and off as far as the expansion and there are several key bindings built in to zen browser if you go to keyboard shortcuts you will see that there are a lot of keyboard shortcuts here so your key bindings you can see uh, alt control t alt control s alt control c are your compact mode key bindings. So if you're in compact mode where you're hiding all the toolbars, let's go ahead and do that. Hide all the toolbars. If I want the toolbar back, Control Alt T brings it back. Control Alt T sends it back away. Control Alt S gives me the sidebar. Control Alt S hides it away. And then for both at the same time, Control Alt C for compact mode. And then Control Alt C again for compact mode for me. I'm going to turn back on my toolbars. I like seeing them all the time. As far as managing your tabs, if you had a million tabs open, let's go ahead and open a few more new tabs. Alt and then the numbers on the keyboard. Alt 1's first tab. Alt 2, second tab. Alt 3, third tab. We scroll down to some other useful key bindings. You do have key bindings for the split view. So if you've enabled split view, so let's go ahead and split a couple of tabs here. So now I've got splits side by side. You can see I can toggle the horizontal split with control alt H gets me to the horizontal split. Control alt V gets me back to the vertical split. And if I want to close the split view, control alt U gets me out of the split view and I'm back into standard tabs. If you want to close a tab, control W is kind of a standard key binding on a lot of browsers. Control W for you know, kill the window, you know, kill the tab, uh, gets rid of that tab. Now, one thing to note is I did find a little bit of a bug uh, in this. If I go to keyboard shortcuts, typically on most browsers, control T opens a new tab. And that's what it says here in Zen browser, control T should open a new tab. But if I hit control T, it actually gives me the URL bar and I could search for something, right? <laughs> Which is not a bad key binding for that. But again, if you're used to control T opening a new tab, that's going to conflict. So that URL bar, there's a, you know, a, a conflict with control T. But I found that control shift T does in fact open a new tab. I just open a new tab on the same page I was on before. You can see, but I have two different tabs open now. Control W will kill that tab. One of the most useful and unique features of Zen Browser that I've found is it has this ability to kind of preview a web page before you actually go to it. So find a link on a page. For example, the download link here. I'm going to put my mouse over it. I'm going to hit Alt on the keyboard, hold the Alt key, and then click on the link and you get a little preview, you know, a little quick glance at the page here. And if this is the page I want to be on, I can hit the little expand button here, you know, the full screen button, and it actually does open that page properly in its own tab. Let me hit control W to kill that page. I'm going to go back to the first tab here. Now, if this is a page that maybe I'm not sure if it's useful or not. Again, I hover over, for example, release notes, hold the alt key, click with the mouse and say, hey, you know what? This page isn't the page I wanted. Well, the close button right here will close that preview and I'm back on the page I was on before. Now, because this is a Firefox based browser, you can use all of your Firefox extensions. And I know a lot of people will ask about syncing. So if you use multiple devices, especially 
a home computer or a laptop. Also, you use mobile and you want to be able to sync your stuff between all of your devices. There is no mobile version of Zen browser, but if you use the mobile version of Firefox or any Firefox based browser, Zen browser can sync with Firefox and vice versa. Also, it's very customizable as far as the user interface. While I like the defaults, I think the defaults are perfect. You know, I wouldn't change them, but if you wanted to add more stuff, uh, uh, to the bars or whatever you could right click you could customize toolbar and it's just like doing this in Firefox you just drag what you want to the toolbar you know the little widgets for example if I wanted a proper like search engine search bar you know I maybe I want to put it here now I have my URL bar here and my search engine search bar here if that's what I wanted to do if I wanted um, let's see if I can actually find something that would be useful well here's one the bookmarks menu I could certainly use bookmarks, you know, on my toolbar. I could add that. Let me hit escape. And now, yeah, now I have my bookmarks here. I still have the search bar here if I wanted to do a proper search or the URL bar if I actually just wanted to go to a web page. And of course, you can also enable various plugins and extensions. All your Firefox plugins should work. So some of the first things most people are going to go grab are things like uBlock Origin, for example, you know, your ad blocker. Yeah, just go grab that, get that installed right away. And uh, you're pretty much good on Zen Browser for something that is still kind of beta software, you know, is this something I could recommend and say, hey, guys, go try this out. You know, I think it's perfectly fine to use right now. And yeah, I actually think this is a really good web browser, even in the early days. The one thing that kind of scares me is because it's a new browser. It's got a very small development team. It's mainly one guy working on the thing. You know, we need more people probably working on this thing. But I think this this could be the next big free and open source browser. I think it has a lot of potential, which is why I'm doing a video about it today. Now, if you want to check out Zen Browser, again, it's available as an app image. It's available as a flat pack on Arch-based distributions. You'll find it in the AUR. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. Matt, Steve, Armor, Dragon, Cap, Caveman, Darloff, Daedalus, George, Lee, Methos, Erion, Paul, Peace, Arch, and Fedora, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Morgentu, and Ubuntu, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this quick look at the Zen Browser would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon. I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys. If you like my work, want to see more videos about fantastic free and open source software like Zen Browser, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.